Hey guys, this is Diego from Indra Fitness. Um, thank you for subscribing to my channel. And I feel like telling you a little bit about myself. I am currently 22 years old. I am uh, 201 pounds. And uh, I think you should know a bit about my history. My history is uh, I started gaining weight since I was probably six years old. It wasn't a major, major weight gain, but uh, you could see it progressing throughout the years. And uh, it was very important to my parents and my sister, but not to me. To me, it was just, uh, I, I was never going to, to you know, uh, gain so much that I cannot go back. And being that age, it was it was normal for me. It was it was just a normal thing to do. Um, started gaining really really bad weight when I was 15. Yeah, for 13, 15 years old when I was in the U.S. And um, I started gaining weight because there was uh, there was some family problems. And uh, I guess my weight of of just zooming out and not having to deal with uh, with problems was was that weight you know it was it was eating it was just uh, having some some burgers or uh, a cookie or something like that you know and uh, a coke and it wasn't even a big deal to me it was I was gaining weight and I was gaining weight but uh, my parents kept fighting and fighting and it was just my way of of not paying attention or basically giving them telling them that you need to pay attention more to me and my weight my weight gain than uh, your problems and I guess that just backfired on me it wasn't it wasn't good I started gaining a lot of weight I started losing my confidence and uh, up to this date my confidence has not been a hundred percent you know I've never gained my confidence to the fullest back, and um, I guess uh, it's just something you gotta work on. You know, every day waking up and telling yourself you got you're you're good enough to live. You're good enough to to do a lot of things. You know, that's that's why I I took um, I started going to the gym and lifting heavy weights and doing a lot of reps. And uh, basically just training myself, and it was it was a trial and error, and uh, and it really really worked. It uh, it became my hobby. It became my life. Today, uh, the only thing I do is is I go to the gym, is uh, eat healthy, and, uh, and talk to you guys. You know, it's uh, that's my passion. It's just training people. It's uh, giving people the the knowledge and the opportunity that you guys can change you know if it's uh, if it's putting on weight if it's uh, gaining muscle losing weight or uh, just getting toned you know getting shredded if if it's that if that's your goal then um, I feel that it worked for me and it's gonna work for you and if if it I, I can give you my word that if you follow everything I tell you, it will work. Because I will be I will be working with you guys, side to side, and um, I, there will never be a day that I will give up. You know, there there will never be a day that I'm gonna tell someone that is overweight, uh, you cannot do it. You know. You cannot lose the weight. You cannot be healthy again. I see a, the the biggest problem I see with people that want to lose weight is is that you know it's uh, they're so overweight that once they see what they have become, when once they see it in the mirror, they always think there's there's no turning back. You know there's there's no way I can lose that much weight and uh and come back and be healthy again have a healthy life have uh have many years to live you know 
So for me, it's a it's a challenge. It's a challenge I love I love to do. It's a I love to help people. I love to give people a reason to keep living. You know, the my turning point was when I was 19 years old. I went with one of my best friends to Cabo, and uh, I was very 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 drunk at a club. It was I was 19. And uh, I was so overweight that I, uh, I had a problem with taking my shirt off because I thought everyone was gonna laugh at me. You know, every, everyone's gonna be there having a great time and, uh, and me just with a shirt on and having alcohol. And that, was, that was my problem, you know, alcohol, because every time I had alcohol, it was, it was like I had, like I had no weight on my shoulders. I had no weight on me. It all, it all went away. And you, and yeah, I can tell my friend to give you stories about myself. When I was drunk, it was when I was n normal Diego. When I was not drunk and I was sober, it was when the whole thing became miserable. I uh, I did not want to talk to girls. I did not want to play sports. Did not want to do a lot of things because I was so bad at it that it it really became just uh, a problem for me. So I was in Cabo when I was 19. I was really drunk. And uh, I remember my friend kept telling me, you know, you should you should try talking to girls. You should try just, you know, opening up. Maybe, maybe someone's not, not gonna look at you for, for the weight, you know, for how you look. But they're gonna look at you and say, you know, this, this person maybe has more than just the weight. So I did, I, uh, I started talking to a girl and uh, I remember that it uh, it was a very difficult night for me because the girl turned me down, but it wasn't a normal turn down. You know, it was it was more of a way of I will I will never talk to you because you're overweight. That was that was the biggest problem for me. You know, and uh, I guess at that point I had so much alcohol in me that it really kicked in, and I said, you know, it's I need to change. And on the way back to the hotel, I kept crying and crying and telling my friend, you know, that I need to change. And he said one thing that I remember. He said, you need to change, but no one's gonna do it for you. You're gonna have to do it on your own. I'm gonna be here walking with you, but you're gonna have to do it. You're gonna have to bust your ass, eat incorrectly, you know, proper nutrition and uh, going to the gym every day to lose the weight. You gain the weight, you're gonna have to lose it. There's no magical way. There is something you can do, you know, you can get surgery, but um, uh, surgery was never on my mind. It was, for me it was, I did it to myself. So I'm gonna continue and lose the weight. I'm not gonna get surgery. I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna take the easy road. That's gonna be difficult. And there's gonna be times where I wanna cry because it hurts so much. Because it's, all I do is go to the gym, eat. You know, I, it was so difficult when I, when I started my transformation because I was going to, I was going to places with my friends and they would eat burgers. They would eat pizza, they would eat, you know, had Cokes, they would just be normal because they were so skinny that, that they did not have to worry about it. And uh, I had to eat protein shakes, I had to eat salads, I had to eat chicken, you know, a certain amount of rice, and a lot of things that nobody, nobody thought I could do. Everyone kept telling me, you know, you're gonna quit. You're gonna quit at, at the beginning of it. At the beginning of your transformation, you're gonna quit. 
because you're, you're not gonna like it. You're not used to going to the gym two to three hours a day. You're not used to lifting heavy weights. You're just, you're really used to going to the gym five, 10, maybe 15 minutes and playing basketball at LA Fitness and just going home. But I, I took that challenge and uh, it became more of a, of a challenge not to prove every, any, everyone else that I could do it, to prove myself that I could do it. Prove that, you know, I, I did have burgers when I was overweight, had a lot of pizzas when I was overweight. So for me, it was, it was a way of saying, I already did this. I already had burgers. I already had pizzas. So it's my time to take, to have chicken, have uh, fish. You know, I hate it. I hated fish. I hated eating veggies and fish and uh, chicken by itself. I would eat chicken wing, like chicken wings, but not proper chicken, grilled chicken. You know, he healthy things. I would never eat it. And. Um, I took that challenge and I am, I'm really, really glad I did because it was, it was the first time that I, I looked at myself in the mirror and I felt happy with myself. I felt happy with the way I looked, you know, even though I really hated how I looked because I, I had so much overweight, so much fat that even though I had that image in my mind and I, I was looking at it, I kept smiling because every time I went to the gym, it was like, I'm a day closer to my goal. I'm a day closer to how I want to look. And up to this day, I go to the gym saying that I'm a day closer to how I want to look. Because once you, once you enter the transformation, there will never be a day where you're gonna be saying, I'm done. You always wanna be better. And there's always room for improvement. There's always room for having more muscle, getting a little bit fitter, you know. There's always room for that. And you can do it. And I'm here to help you. And I'm here to walk with you and tell you every day, even though you're gonna fall, I'm gonna pick you up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you because no one was there to pick me up. No one was there to help me. Everyone said I was not gonna be able to do it, but I did it and I'm still doing it. You know, I, if, if you asked me when I, was not, when I was 18, if you said, you know, at, at 22, you're gonna be talking to a camera and uh, talking to people on YouTube and telling them that they can change their life, I would probably laugh and say, I cannot even change my own life. Why would I be telling all these other people that they can change their own? But after years and years of, of trying, of going to the gym numerous times a day, eating healthy and going through this transformation, I can assure you it's possible and I can assure you you're gonna do it. If you, if you stay true to your diet, if you stay true to your regimen, you know, if, if you give 100% in anything, it doesn't have to be fitness, it doesn't have to be, you know, going to the gym or eating proper nutrition. If you give 100% in anything, school, work, your relationship, anything, you will get 100% back. And that's how I did it. And that's how I do it every day. People keep asking me, how do you get motivation to go to the gym every day, two to three hours a day, eat healthy? How do you get, how do you get that motivation to not drink, to not go out? And when you do go out, to have water and then go back home and sleep because you need to sleep to get muscle gains, to grow, how do you get motivation? And it's really easy. The answer is really easy. I look at myself in the mirror and I, and I tell myself every day in the morning, you did it. You cannot quit. You're not going to quit today. 
you're gonna keep going and keep going. Your life, life is really, really easy. People just make it complicated. You make it complicated on yourself by not doing the right things. You know, you gotta, you gotta eat, and you gotta, you gotta fuel your muscle. You gotta fuel your, your workout. I see a lot of people going to the gym, doing 10, 15 minutes on the treadmill, and going home. I see a lot of women on doing spinning or uh, yoga or just walking on the treadmill or running really, really hard on the treadmill for 15 minutes and going home. No, I ha they have this misconception of if I lift, if I do weights, I'm gonna get bulky. I'm gonna get big. I'm gonna look like a man. No. There's no way you're going to look like a man if you have a proper regimen, a proper nutrition, if you have a, a routine you can follow. You know, you have all these great athletes, you have these models, you have all everyone that can show you they're doing lifting weights, they're doing cardio, they're eating properly, and they're the fittest person. You know, they. They are really, really healthy. So you can do it. If you pay attention and just keep going and keep going. Even though the road is gonna get really, the road is gonna get hard. Cause I can assure you it's gonna get hard. But you gotta keep going. For weight loss, I see a lot of people just going to the gym and I see all these trainers. All these trainers just when people that are overweight go to them and ask them, what do I need to do to, to lose weight? All they say is, you know, go to the cardio machines, go, go do some cardio. And that happened to me. When I went to the doctors, it was, it was probably the worst time because all they said is, you need to eat less and you need to do more cardio. I'll do 50 minutes of cardio, 60 minutes of cardio and just sweat and sweat and sweat and sweat. That's not the way to do it. At least it was not for me. And I can assure you it's not for you. I can assure you that it's gonna work for you. What I'm telling you is gonna work for you because it really did for me. And I will work with you to fit every possible thing in your life so that you're not taking out, going out with your friends. You know, you're not taking out, going out with your girlfriend, with your wife with your husband, with your boyfriend, you're not taking out anything. You know, you can do the things in life you enjoy. It's just, you have to do everything in moderation. You can go out and you can have a bottle of water instead of having some really bad alcohol. Or you can stick to your diet really good and you can have a beer. You can have a beer once a month. You know, you can have some type of really low calorie alcohol once a month. Just just so you you feel good, you know, you feel like it's like it's a gift. It's your own gift. You work yourself really, really hard. You deserve something. Cause I can tell you I, I took out everything. I took out friendships. I took out everything in my life and I gave it all to fitness all to losing weight and now I can tell you something now I am enjoying life the way it's supposed to be and this is what I love to do I am here I know I'm here to help people and to help them get healthier and to walk with them and tell them I you can do it pick them up you know telling them that there is a way to a healthier life and I'm here to help you.